How's it going, guys? It's Craig Mitch here for Spurred on TV, and I'm outside Selhurst Park, the Arthur Waite stand, to be precise, where all of the Tottenham away fans were, and we've just beaten Crystal Palace 3-1. My voice is struggling a bit, and uh, it was an amazing game, honestly. I mean, in the first half, uh, unfortunately, we went 1-0 down. Vertonghen with the own goal after Zaha, I believe, whipped it in. It was very unfortunate. I felt like we was controlling the game before then, uh, stroking it around. Obviously, we knew they were going to set up for a draw, and uh, we was very attacking, but we really couldn't penetrate or find that final ball. Uh, Trippio was looking good on the right, you know, being that fullback that bombs forward, whipping in the crosses like he does, but we couldn't, you know, do anything. Song looked very good on the ball, wasn't happening for us. They got the first goal. And uh, it was just frustrating because we've conceded and we've conceded the first goal, I beg your pardon, for like our last three, four games. We, we did it against Leicester when we lost. We did it against Sunderland our last game. Uh, we did it against Everton. And we've been having to fight back. Admittedly, we have been fighting back apart from the Leicester game and we did it here again today. But it is frustrating conceding that first goal. We've gone in at half time. And I'm thinking to myself, what are we going to do? The creativity isn't there. We're not really coming up with anything. Come out second half, playing a bit more zip to our game, a bit more bit fast paced um, and then we got the breakthrough Harry Kane with the header I can't actually remember who whipped it in but who cares the header was brilliant Harry Kane on the score sheet once again I'm absolutely gutted I haven't put him back in my fantasy team I've been meaning to do it for ages now but Harry Kane showing that he's got that quality he wasn't really in the game up until that point but that's all it takes when you're when you're a class player just a moment of brilliance and he did it after that I mean this goal uh, what can I say what can I actually how do I even describe this goal? I mean, it, it was it was something out of this world. It was a moment of magic. I like to call Deli Ali the Harry Potter. The Harry Potter, the young wizard of Spurs. You know, he treats White Hot Lane like Hogwarts and today was just more magic. Uh, he's casting spells all over the place and today was just ridiculous. The goal, the confidence. He didn't have a great game, Deli Ali. He wasn't he wasn't really doing anything. He was getting frustrated. He had a he had a he had a little nibble at a couple of players. Him and Kabai had a very, very intense battle in the midfield. They were really squaring up to each other, they were getting into each other's heads. It wasn't really coming off. But that moment of magic, he kind of just flicked it up volleyed it over one of their players' heads, can't remember who it was, and then completely smashed it into the back of the net. And I mean, if you saw how everyone celebrated, I was in the in, in the guest stand um, at Selhurst Park, and, and I'm sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't resist celebrating. I had to celebrate. It was ridiculous. I mean, I completely lost all composure. Everyone went crazy. I even saw a certain Palace fan standing up and applauding. I mean, this is the future of England we're seeing here. The future of England. He played in League One 12 months ago, and now he's in the Premier League pulling off Zidane-esque goals. And some of you are probably going to be going, no, you can't compare him. I'm not comparing him to Zidane as a player. He's got a long, long way to go to even get close. But I mean, goals like that in the Premier League at top flight is ridiculous. And then just to, just to put the nail in the coffin, Chadley got a superb goal as well right at the end of the game. Um, from about 20 yards out. That's his second goal. Uh, that's two goals in two games for Chadley. So we've got depth there. There is a lot of depth. Lamella didn't even get a sniff. Ben Davis was on the bench. And it's just everyone's fighting for a place. And I think the important thing to remember is the resilience in this team at the moment. We go down and we never get our head down. We believe in our ability. We know we can fight back. And we did it again today. This was a London derby. Remember that. We lost here last season. Remember that. This season, we've come here, gone 1-0 down, 1-3-1. Pardew's got to be scratching his head like, how the hell have we lost this? How have we not even taken a point but when you've got a team with class like we have and we've got depth on the bench this is what happens all right we've got Norwich away next um, they had a thriller against Liverpool but hopefully and I think we should after showing today I mean the players gonna have so much confidence that we can beat Norwich and really press on guys Spursy is dead this is it I've been Craig Mitch this has been Spurred On let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the game drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new follow us on Twitter at Spurred On TV follow me on Twitter follow Spurs come on you boys